Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Rifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share a video with you that I'm so proud of. It's a project that I worked on one day and I just love how it turned out. And I would like to share with you how I made a DIY Dollar Tree Happy Planner Sticker Organizer. I am thrilled with how this project turned out. You guys know that I've been getting into Happy Planner recently and I was able to find a really great deal on Happy Planner supplies. I needed to find a way to organize everything that I had for Happy Planner. I'm so happy that I was able to tackle this project and I ended up giving it as a gift to my mom and my sister. But I wanted to share with you today the process of making that so that you can make one for yourself. But before I jump into this tutorial, I wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I am so excited to be working with Skillshare. I have been wanting to expand my knowledge of different types of crafting styles. I love to craft and I sort of get stuck in a couple different styles. You know, I can do a little bit of knitting, but I'm not that great with knitting. I can do a little bit of sewing, but I'm not that amazing with sewing either. And so I tend to stick with the things that are more comfortable for me. And so at the new year, I decided to really tackle some of those projects and some of those things that I've always wanted to do, but I don't have a ton of knowledge on. And so when Skillshare reached out to me to work together on a video, I was thrilled because Skillshare is absolutely perfect for learning new types of DIYs. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes. You can find classes that cater to your specific needs in a variety of topics, things like languages and crafting and culinary. There are so many different things that you can learn on Skillshare. A premium membership to Skillshare gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and your new year goals. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. Skillshare is also super affordable with annual classes costing just $10 a month. When I learned about Skillshare, I was so excited about the variety of classes and the cost. Literally, you could just sit on Skillshare for hours just looking at all of the different classes that you have access to. I know for me, as a creative person with crafting and DIY, but also a creator on YouTube, there were so many different types of classes that I could watch to help my crafting, but also to help me create on YouTube. So I just feel like it's such a perfect creative outlet, a perfect way to start learning some new skills. And what's really exciting is that the first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description box below will get a two month free trial. I know there are so many different classes that you will all absolutely love and I highly encourage you to check out Skillshare. It has completely changed the way I think about teaching myself different types of skills. I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for sharing this amazing opportunity with my subscribers. I know that you guys are going to love Skillshare. So if you're interested in learning a new skill, make sure that you check out the link in my description box below so that you can get a two month free trial. I'm so excited to be sharing this Dollar Tree Happy Planner sticker organizer with you today. So let's just jump right into the video. The first thing you will need for this project are zip ties. You can usually find them in the hardware section at Dollar Tree. You will also need wire cooling sheets. These can be found in the baking section at Dollar Tree. You will need some clear index tabs. You can find that in the stationary section. I'm also using a pair of wire cutters and a pair of scissors. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what shape you want to make your organizer into. And honestly, I have to say that this is the hardest part of the whole project is really figuring out what shape you want to make and starting to connect everything. When you're first setting it up, it isn't very stable at all. So it does take a little bit of trial and error to figure out how to work everything and how to have it set up. And for me, I had never used zip ties before, so I had to figure out how to use those first. I started by attaching the bottom piece to the back piece and something that was helpful during this process was to actually have the organizer propped on something, especially at the very beginning because it, as you can see it lacks any type of structure at this point and it did make things challenging at first. So I just took the zip ties and I just attached the two pieces together and they are surprisingly strong. You can definitely do a lot with these zip ties. As you can see, I propped the back up against the container I had the zip ties in. Then I was starting to figure out how to put the side on and I decided to make it vertical instead of horizontal just because I thought that I could put my happy planner in the top and it would just be a little taller on the side, which I didn't mind. And again, the beginning part is definitely the hardest be flimsy at the beginning, but once all of the pieces start coming together, it really starts taking shape very quickly. The great thing about using zip ties is that they're very strong but they take up very little space on your piece. So I tried to maximize where I was putting them. I tried to really put them in the corners and places that I felt would need a little extra strength 
and they really worked very well. As you can see, I just put two pretty close next to each other just because I felt like the bottom corner of the piece needed a little extra strength. And as you can see throughout the process of this video, it does get kind of difficult to work with all the zip ties. I think if I did it again, I would start trimming the pieces a little sooner. And as you can see right here, I'm attaching the opposite side to the piece. And again, I'm trying to use as many zip ties as I can, but not too many so that it doesn't get crowded with zip ties. I did typically on each piece that I attached two zip ties. So if I was attaching it to the back, I would do two on the back and two on the bottom just to make sure that it was extra secure. The next step was to decide how I wanted to put the shelves in the organizer. I first thought I wanted to have them at an angle because I actually found a thrifted organizer that looked like that where it had the angled shelves, but I ended up not liking how that looked. So I ended up deciding putting the shelves in just flat and I really liked how that looked better and I felt that it gave it a little more security and a little more strength to the different pieces that were going to be sitting in there. The Happy Planner stickers can be kind of heavy and I just felt that it was a little more secure with those shelves sitting flat. So all I did was go around and attach them. I attached them in the four corners of the piece. Altogether, I ended up adding five shelves to the piece and then I have the additional shelf that's on the bottom. So there are six racks that you can put different stickers on. I'm planning on putting my Happy Planner on the top. And another thing that I would have to say is that it kind of looks like a spider at this point, don't you think, with all of those zip ties sticking out all over the place? So as I said earlier, if I could do this again, I would have started trimming those earlier because it just was kind of difficult to work with, honestly, with all of those little things sticking out. But it really was a rather simple project to do and it really didn't take that long. Once I had all of the shelves installed, I then went through and started trimming those extra pieces off the zip tie and it was just really cool to see the process of how it transformed from this thing that sort of looked like a spider into an actual organizer that just looks so great. I then put a couple Happy Planner sticker packs in there just to see how it looks. It's almost like these cooling racks were made for the Happy Planner stickers because it, it's almost the exact length of a sticker pack. I think this next step is optional but I really like how it looks so what I ended up doing was taking some of these clear index tabs and I started writing down the different names for the books on them. One thing that can be challenging with the Happy Planner stickers is that you can't tell what you have unless you're looking almost at the top of it. So I figured that I would take the clear plastic tab and insert that little piece that has the name written on it. But when I do that, I'm going to fold the plastic tab over so that it'll sort of hook onto the wire rack. You could do it a different way and maybe put some glue on it just to make it a little more secure. But I just thought this was an easy way to be able to display the names of all of the different sticker packs. I am so happy with how this turns out. It perfectly fits a Happy Planner notebook that I have right on top and then below you can see all of the different stickers. You can see every different type of sticker that you have and those little clear tabs are really staying on there quite nicely. All I did was fold them and they stayed on there pretty nicely. I love how this looks and I think that it's just such a nice way to organize all of your planner stickers and it's an affordable project too. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this DIY Happy Planner sticker organizer using products from Dollar Tree. I'm so excited that I tackled this project. This is going to be a gift for my mom and my sister, and I'm actually giving them all of these Happy Planner stickers. I just love how this project turned out. I've been wanting to work with these wire racks for a while, the ones that you can find at Dollar Tree. I finally found a purpose for them. I think that this looks so streamlined. It was so easy to do, and it was so inexpensive. This whole project was five or six dollars. You can't beat that. And the original inspiration for this project is actually right behind me. I found this wire rack at a thrift store and it's been perfect for my Happy Planner stickers, but I wanted to be able to recreate it using products from Dollar Tree because I knew that you could. I knew that you could use these wire racks for that. So I'm really excited that I gave this project a try and I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I hope 
that I've inspired you to give this project a try so that you can finally organize all of those happy planner stickers in your crafting space. If you give this project a try, make sure you share a picture with me of your finished project on Instagram. And if you don't have Instagram but would still like to share a picture with me of your finished product, make sure that you share a picture with me on Facebook at Thrifted Living Page. I've also created a blog post where I share more detailed instructions and up close pictures of the whole process, and that is at my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!